Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to learn about multiplication rule for counting techniques. Okay, so let's look at what I have here. So, assume an operation can be described by a sequence of k steps. And then one, there are n ways of completing step one and then n two ways of completing step two for each way of completing step one and n three ways of completing step three for each way of completing step two and so forth. Then the total number of ways of completing the operation is n1 times n2 times n3 all the way to uh, times what nk all right so let me explain this to you okay so um, in simple terms assuming that we we want to carry out an operation okay we want to carry out an operation and then let's say um there are n1 ways of uh, performing the first tax of the operation and then there are n two ways of performing the second tax for that operation and then n three ways of performing the third tax then the total number of ways that we can use to complete that operation would be just be the product of what the number of ways of performing what each of the tax okay so that's what uh, this means so assuming that you want to manufacture a shirt okay you want to manufacture a t-shirt so the operation is a man t-shirt manufacturing okay that's our operation now and then let's say to manufacture this t-shirt uh, we are assuming that we have three steps that uh, we will have to follow in order to manufacture this t-shirt and then assuming that i give you that the first step okay for the first step you will have to choose a, a color and then for the color that you will have to choose we have four different colors okay let's say we have four colors to choose from okay and then the next step is to choose the size that you want okay and then let's say for the size also we have two sizes okay we have two sizes and then the next the the third step okay let's say the third step too, we have uh two different types of necks okay so let's say two neck types okay so our operation is to manufacture a t-shirt okay and then there are three different ways okay of uh, there are three steps that you must follow to manufacture the shirt okay and then for the first step okay that you must follow to manufacture the shirt you will have to pick a color out of what four colors right so you see that there are four ways of what picking a uh, colors here which means that you have four options for colors right and then when you talk about the sizes we have two options for the size so there are two ways of carrying out the second step and then for the third step also we have two uh, ways of what picking the neck type so there are two ways of what carrying the the first step so our n1 will be equal to four because there are four uh, options there and then our n2 will be equal to two because there are two possible uh, options there and then n3 okay will also be equal to two because there are two options there so in that case the total number of ways of uh, producing the shirt okay will be four times two times two okay that will be equal to you're going to have four times two times two that will be equal to what 16. so you're going to have what 16 uh different number of ways of what producing a shirt okay so that's what uh, this is about so let's look at these examples that i have here the first question says that the design for the design for a website is to consist of what four colors three fonts and then what three positions for an image okay so example one solution so example one says that the design for a website is to consist of what four colors right so we are designing a website that's the operation we are carrying out and then in this case we can see that we have uh, three steps which is the the, the first step will be for colors the second step will be for fonts and then the third step will be to choose a position for an image so for the question one okay so for the question one uh, for the first step okay for the first step you are going to have what four options for colors so you have what four colors okay you have four ways of picking colors and then for step two okay you have three fonts okay so three fonts so you have three fonts options and then for step three you have what three positions for images okay so three image positions okay so our n1 okay will be equal to four because there are four ways of completing uh, just the step one okay and then 
our N2 will be equal to 3 because there are three ways of uh, picking fonts or there are three options for the fonts. And then our N3 will be equal to 3 because there are three uh, options for choosing image position. So in all, the number of ways of uh, producing the website design, okay, will be equal to N1 times N2 times what? N3, right? Which will be equal to 4 times 3. Okay. 4 times 3 times 3. Okay, let's what you're going to get. I think that should be 36. So 4 times 3 times 3. Okay, that'll give us a value of what? 36. So you have 36 different ways to produce a website design. Okay. So let's look at the, the second example also. You can try your hands on it. Okay, so that we compare the answers that I'm going to get. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so continuing with uh, example two. Okay, so example two, it says that suppose you have a clothing store that offers the following options for customizing a shirt. So our operation is to customize the shirt. We have choice of five colors, which is red, blue, green, yellow, and black. Then we have another choice of what? Three sizes, which is small, medium, and large. And then we have the, the next step, which is a choice of what? Two star, whether plain and what? Printed. So how many different combinations of color size uh, the of color size and style can a customer choose for their shirt okay so you want to find a different combination of what color size and style uh, a customer can choose from so this is basically asking us the total number of ways that you can complete the t-shirt customization okay so how many steps do you have here you have three steps which is the color the size and then the choice of what styles right so let's look at that so for our step one okay we have five colors right we have uh, five colors and then for step two okay we have uh, three sizes okay and then for step three okay for step three we have two uh two styles okay we have two styles okay so in this case for step one, we have five uh, different ways or five different options. So I'm going to have N1 to be equal to five, right? And then for step two, we have three different options. I'm going to have N2 to be equal to three. And then I'm going to have N3 to be equal to what? Two. So the total number of combinations would be five times three. Okay. Times what? Two. Okay. This is what you're going to have. This will give us a value of what? 30 different combinations okay so that's uh, what multiplication rule for accounting techniques involve okay so we normally um apply this in permutation and then combination problems okay there are other situations whereby you can apply this rule also okay so we we apply this when we want to know the uh, total possible ways of what uh, performing or carrying out what a tax so that's what the multiplication rule for counting techniques is about. Thank you for watching this video.